What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video. We are obviously already inside of the beautiful Dick Sporting Goods facility here. And it's really beautiful because nowadays we've just got Guggen Green, Guggen Green, Guggen Green. Got MTBs down there, whole aisles of Guggen Bays. This is, uh, Dick's is coming up in the world, man. This is getting pretty crazy. But we're doing a little bit of a comparison video today. Now, I know in the title, this may seem like it's a Guggenbait versus another brand, but that's not really how I want this to go. Here's the deal, guys. It's betting season here in the South. Like we are, we're in it, right? I mean, the, the bass are moving up. A lot of them are still in that transition phase where they're coming out of the deep water and they're kind of shallow, but they're not quite betting yet. But today, the betting could be on, right, Badge? I mean, we've been seeing people catching fish off bed lately. Oh, some big ones. So, it's, it's coming, it's right here. If it's not here, it's like right around the corner. But either way, we've got big fish moving shallow. So the purpose of this video is for us to kind of test out one of my favorite bed fishing lures and setups of all time versus another lure and setup that is just known to catch big bedding bass in the South. So we're just gonna kind of compare the two. We're not gonna necessarily go them against each other. You guys know I work with Guggen Baits. It's my favorite baits of all time, so. I'm never gonna talk bad about a product that I love and believe in so much, but let's see which one's gonna catch the most fish. Before we dive into what these lures actually are, remember guys, we are on the road to one million subscribers on this channel. There's still like tens of thousands of you guys watching right now that are not subscribed. So hit that red button, it's right below the video. Click it, make it turn gray, enable those bell notifications, that way you don't miss a video or a giveaway or a big fish or whatever. You can always unsubscribe later, it's free to do. Do that for me guys. Okay, so lure number one is obviously a Guggen bait, okay? And here's the thing, this kind of bait really, it's, I think it's the most unique Guggen bait, maybe the most unique plastic that I've really used. And that's going to be the Trench Hog. Now when you take a look at this bait, you can obviously see, we've got kind of a, kind of a thick worm body with appendages. You've got craw claws, but the craw claws are extremely long, giving this bait like a, a double the profile of a normal, like, what, what, what would you call this, Andrew? Like, just looking at something like this, what would you compare this to? I don't know, man. It's like a weird breed of, like you said, a thick worm and Worm a body, crawl. like a, a creature bait, appendages on the side, long crawl, which almost like gives it like a long tail. Right. So there's a lot of weird things going on here, but the reason why I like this so much is because last year during this, the spawn, I used this lure exclusively. Now, I'm a big crawl guy. I'm sure you are too. Like for most people, a crawl imitating bait, like a crack and crawl or something like that. Oh, here, here's the even better right here. A white crawl Ooh. for the spawn, you know? This is gonna be a great bait. To Texas rig, flip it onto a bed. You can watch it. You can watch that big bass come and pick it up and eat it. But for some reason, this longer, this bigger creature, it almost seems like it poses more of a threat to the bass. Like this is just an annoyance. You know what I mean? They just wanna eat it and get it off the bed. Yeah. This is like an actual threat to their bass fry, to their eggs. So. I made the switch about a year ago to fishing these things exclusively for the spawn. Now, the lure we're gonna pit this thing against is an old favorite in a southern tradition to catch bedding bass. All right, well I just saw it, where are you? Aha, here we go. You ready for this, buddy? Well, bam, oh, snap. the lizard, baby. This is like the magnum lizard, so this is the big one right here. Big. So yeah, I mean, the lizard is one of the most famous bed baits in the South, especially Alabama. People love throwing them on banks or grass areas where there's known to be beds because a lizard will eat bass eggs. You know what I mean? So I thought it would be cool if we could take what I think is the most unique looking Guggen bait and it, and it kind of imitates a lizard type shape versus an actual zoom lizard. So yeah, we're gonna explain like the rigs and stuff like that once we get out on the water, but that's gonna be the basic premise today. Me and Badge are both gonna fish. We're gonna see, I, mean, I wanna catch a donkey. I don't care what lure it comes on to be honest with you, but I, I feel like both of these lures are gonna catch fish because they're both, they both proven to me that they can, but I'd like to see like fishing them in the same pond side by side, flipping into the same bed maybe. Let's see if we can get like some different reactions and kind of nail down what these fish where I live like. What's your color, Badge? Give me, we've only got a couple colors of lizards here. We've got watermelon red, which is gonna be hard to beat. Yeah. You've got watermelon chartreuse, which actually looks a little bit better. Yeah. And we might get to even chartreuse that tail up some more. Ooh. And you got the pumpkin chartreuse, which is like a, a red color. I can speak from experience. I've used all three of these colors before. I mean, I guess we should just get all of them. Do it. <laughs> just get Do all it. three. 
Let's go look at the trench hogs now and see what, what color options they offer, because I'm not sure. Oh, they've got regular lizards over here too. Yeah, so the, these are, they've got the magnum lizards and they've got like the six inch lizards, which is the normal one. So I'm gonna get a couple packs of, uh, of each. All right, so for the trench hog, we've got a summer crawl, which it's really similar to like a green pumpkin chartreuse. I'm trying to find colors that kind of match. Like that's a really good match right there between the trench hog and the lizard. So I'm just trying to get some comparable colors here. That way we can really get to the bottom of which one's gonna work. And then like a watermelon red flake. I think that's good. That's gonna match both of these pretty well too. So we've got our lures. We're gonna get our rigs and stuff. Like I said, we'll show you guys rigs, everything once we get to the pond, to the lake, wherever we're going. See you guys on the water. Let's do a little bit of an experiment. All right, folks, we're gonna start off with me using the trench hog. And that's just what that looks like right there. I did dip the bottom of it. We didn't tell you guys about this, but got a little bit of this garlic spike it right here, which just makes the bottom a little bit more chartreuse, if you guys can even see that. It's kind of hard to tell. But a uh, little 3 16 ounce tungsten, which is my all-time favorite size, and a bobber stopper. That just keeps the weight in place. So when I flip it on, hopefully, a bed, it stays. The weight stays right where I want it to. Badge is going to start with... Very similar. These this, these two presentations look really similar. We should pull them out. Got the same thing. Spiked tail. Look how similar these two look, though. Dude, look at that, that. That color, wow. Look at that. We, we match those perfectly. So this yeah. is a really fair comparison right here. We've already seen a ton of swirlies around these little individual grass clumps. So uh, we got a pretty good feeling that there's some good fish on beds very near. We're going to get an opportunity to uh, catch them. All right, buddy. Let's stay right next to each other. That way we can kind of flip in similar areas mm. and see if there's any different reaction from the bass. Well, let's just see, let's see what we can see here because we're seeing a bunch of stuff going on. We got to make a flip. I just wonder how grassy it is on that edge, you know? And I also don't want to spook something. But what we like to do, guys, is find that area where you think that fish is, where that bed is, and just flip your bait. Try to flip it in there as softly as you can, and uh, then we're just going to give it a little couple hops. Right now, we're kind of blind casting because we can't see a bed yet, but we think there's one around the edge of this grass because we're seeing a, a fish swim around. So there's got to be a reason why he's swimming around. I think I see the edge of a bed right there. It's just so hard to tell. Definitely see fish swirling all over the place, even further out than we thought they might be i'm really nervous there are some big fish in this lake guys and if they're coming up on beds this is a time where you can just catch your absolute pb that doesn't sound good now does it this Oh my gosh, jeez, pretty good, man, <laughs> pretty good start, <laughs> you know oh my oh. gosh, I'm oh. going to, I'm going to yoink him, oh my gosh, that's a nice fish to start your day with, look at that little thick girl, I mean, you know, not a huge fish for sure, but a beautiful fish nevertheless, a little three pounder. This lake has got about a billion three pounders in it, that's for sure. With some big ones too. Dude, such a clean bite. Just absolutely decimated the freaking trench hog. Let's see where she is. I'm pretty sure it was off that point, man. Look at that little trench hog. Whatever color that was, I think it was the green pumpkin yeah. uh, chartreuse or whatever with the dip. Yeah. Right off that. Look at that, look at that, another one. Oh my god. There could be another bass out there. So let's go ahead and release this beauty right here. I'm just gonna give her a send. <laughs> She's that kidding. noise. Oh, God. Don't go she in too, brother. She landed head first. Okay, well, uh, score one for the trench hog. Of course, you were doing something back at the truck, but I made a couple casts at that point because yeah. me, and, me and Badge have just been seeing fish just all over the place. Just they're swir moving. Swirling around, yeah. I don't think they're quite locked on beds. Like, I think this was right off of yeah. a bedding area. It had but, not spawned out. Right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but a very, like, clean bite, if that makes sense. Just like a hopping it along all of a sudden and it was just like no doubt in my mind that there was a fish on there look at that you see that oh fish do fish are busting all over this bank i think they're coming up they're staging like this moment me and him were just talking off camera about how the next day or two or three could be a really big time where we live in alabama so i'm gonna let him put the camera down so he can keep fishing that's just fish number one and uh man we might be on them 
All right, got a little bridge action here. I really like this because it's high enough up. We'll really be able to see stuff bed-wise. But the problem is going to be getting a big bass up to you. That's going to be an issue. And if you fall through these little things, you will break your leg. I see bad. I mean, bad's just everywhere. I just don't know. I don't know if there's bass on them yet. Oh, there's a little bluegill swimming over to my trench hog. Yeah, that's really cool. Plus, we can't get back here with the boat, so this could be some untouched territory here. All right, see that tree? Oh, I see him. Yeah, <laughs> try to get him, man. Yeah, that's a that's wow. a good that's a good fish, man. I mean, he looks he looks like at least three from here, and he's really far away. It's gonna be it's a tough cast though. I think it's it could be a four. Oh, that's a oh. If you can get it out of that tree, that's a great cast. Oh, you fell right on top of him. Oh, oh. He's circling. Okay, he's heading back. You're good. Oh, if you could if you could like, well, this is a tough cast, man. He's got there, man. Well, I'm just saying he's got the tree Let's as cover. Turns. Yeah, we'll take turns. You want me to end this camera? Oh, that was not it. No, you're good. No, let's fish for a minute. That's oh, I'm, I'm there. Oh, uh, maybe. Man, see, that's a big fish, and it's it's not interested at all. And plus, we're not getting on its bed. There you go. Oh god, it turned on it. It turned on it. Badge. Oh, it Dude, swam that, out. That's a five pounder. Yeah, I know. That's a good freaking fish. It's swimming out. Any kind of fishing with live bluegill, man, that's gonna. You could catch an absolute monster. God, come here. Oh my god, look at this crooked back son of a gun. <laughs> you shook off my uh, trench hog. <laughs> look at this crook back son of a gun right here. Look at that crook back going on. Like a humpback whale. Yeah. <laughs> look at his back, man. <laughs> what Ooh. the freak? Poor guy. Yeah, I jacked his jaw on that one. I just blind cast him like oh, in that shade right there, that little piece of shade, man. He's just sitting there. So that was a complete blind cast, but could have been on a bed. That's the thing about a little creek like this. We see a really nice fish over there, as you guys have been hearing us lament for an hour. It's a really nice fish. The biggest one we've seen out here for sure. Ouch. All right, well, one for uh one for the humpback. That's a freaking funny looking fish. Yeah, it is. Bet that guy could throw it back for days. <laughs> <laughs> He's a twerker, no doubt about it. <laughs> well, I think you should definitely keep working that fish for a while, man. I think it's for this fish is going to be the angle yeah. of the dangle. Oh. Like, can you find an angle to get, if you could get on bank level and skip that lizard or trench hog up underneath that tree a little bit, I think you could might maybe catch that fish because you could keep it in the strike zone long enough. The good thing is we know where that fish is, so we can always circle back around. But I think this creek has a lot of potentials. We've already, we've caught that fish. We've seen that one. We could probably, you know, walk around the other side and just kind of keep beating the bank and any flip could be a freaking Mondo. Oh gosh, there's a good one on a bed right there. Woo! Oh gosh, she had it. I don't know, she's cut my thing in half. Tell me you got the baits with you. Uh-uh. Why are we the way we are? How big? I don't know, probably four plus. She just freaking bit my, see that bed right there? Straight ahead? Is it still there? I, I can't see the fish, but she absolutely annihilated it. Crazy, dude. God, bit my freaking, bit the entire bottom half of the trench hog off. Once I flipped, I didn't see the fish, but it was the bite was immediate, so I know it's that same fish that I saw. All right, we returned to the scene of the crime here. We have been putting in some hella hours here. We're not getting bites anymore, but there was one big fish, the one that got away, quote unquote, bit my trench hog in half. We are gonna give her another cast or two live on YouTube. Oh, I think I see her swirling around. Jeez, that is wild. Getting her out of here is going to be really difficult. <laughs> Ow, the hook's in my hand. Mm. Sweet. All right, well, don't you guys worry. Me and Bads are defeated today, but we're going to continue this experiment tomorrow. All right, so day two of our little adventure, little experiment, whatever you want to call it. Just making a little go-go bag here. Oh. Got extra Texas rigs, extra weights extra baits and we're going to continue on with the same theme here um trench hog versus lizard now obviously we've changed location i hope that's going to yield some better results so you know, you're going to keep on throwing the lizard batch until yeah. 
I think we should just keep throwing something. Like when we catch a fish, we should switch or something, something like that. You know what yeah. I mean? Just so we get some equal playing time in right, there. Right. But I really want you to get bent on the lizard, and at that point, that'd be a good time to then switch. I think. So. Agreed. You go ahead, keep banging on that lizard. I'm gonna trench it up. We've both got GoPros on today, so we're gonna be able to keep track a little bit better about how each lure is working and how the the fish are reacting to it. So let's uh, let's get her done, buddy. Oh my God! Jeez! Oh my God! Ow! What a feisty fish! Well, we got three for the trench hog, and this thing is as wide as it is long. It's a little little slunch burger. Freaking! Uh, I told Badge what happened. Literally was was working it off this brush pile. Was done with the cast, reeling it in. It got stuck on the end of a branch, so I couldn't get it out, and the damn bass came up and just crushed it. So yeah, that's the pattern get snagged then just dangle it a little bit just a little dangle a little snag dangle a little snag dangle yeah i like it so yeah three for the trench hog it's time for the lizard to get in the game but you know if the lizard catches the biggest bass of the day it's gonna be hard to deny it's effective oh my god what? something swirled right by where my lure hit oh god lost him I don't know, probably big, because my lure hit, it was a swirl. I should have checked sooner. I should have felt my line sooner, because I, I I know better than that. If you see a swirl, you got to check, because it could very well be on your lure. Come on, Badge, get him. That could have been a big one, man. But this lure is so long. I've, like I've said, it's the only downside of these lures, how long they are. But typically, it takes a pretty good-sized bass to eat them, so... Whew. Man, that was a jolt. Damn, I wish I had checked sooner. That was my bad. Big time my bad scenario. That's the fish we needed right there. I can even, I think I can even see a bed right there now. Ah. Like between the log and the island. How good? I don't know. Oh, decent. I don't think that's the same one. I think that's a different fish that was off of it. Yeah, that, that ain't definitely the same one. That could be a, could be a nail. Jeez. I mean, just slipped all over that freaking thing's head. Kind of a chunky little guy. Dude, these fish are freaking murdering the trench hog, dude. Is your lizard in there right now? Yeah, I'm watching. Well, we better, uh, we better check that thing, but that's number four for the trench. And I think, ow, we get that lizard in the right spot, man. It's gonna get destroyed. Okay, it might be my time. Get it. Got him? Nope. Had a fish though, for real? For sure? Yeah, it had me. So it was back there at that same spot? I guess. It was a little bit off. And it didn't, when I set the hook, there was not a lot of weight there. Could have been a little, I'm on that bed, man. little pecker. Wow. That's a nice fish. I want to get behind it. Oh, these are a little finicky. They might be about to come up and then. That's so crazy. The fact that they just came out of nowhere, they just kind of came swimming up. They weren't worried about a thing. Two of them, they are the same size though, which didn't seem like, you know, a male and a female. It seemed like two females coming up, looking to bed down, looking to shack up with a young, muscular man. Oh, I just got crushed. Got him. Uh, oh, come on, buddy. This isn't the big one. I cast it across the freaking pond. Decent. Right up onto the bank. It's not small. It just seemed like it was big. That's a, how much you want to bet? That's a little male right there. A little male, maybe. Garden a bed on the other side of the freaking pond. That's wild. Man. Shoot. This is so much freaking fun. God, this time of year, guys. If you're not out fishing right now, unless you live like up north or something, I understand this is not the weather everywhere right now but if you live in the south southeast region texas florida alabama georgia any of these places man i hope you guys are out fishing right now because it's it's happening there's another one that might be a better one that's a better one andrew well it's decent <laughs> i don't know this is just crazy fun 
Yeah, we're doing some things over here, Badge. We got the old trench hog in the game. Yeah, it's a better fish. I bet you this was, this might be the female. Oh, wow, this is crazy. This is absolutely insane. Look at these, look at that beauty right there. Oh my gosh, this is so much fun. I'm trying to release these fish quick. So I know that they're trying to, trying to get their spawn on and you know, I don't want to completely frick them up. Wow, that's like six for the trench hog guys. Once again, this is not, trying to make the look the lizard look bad or anything i'm just saying i mean this is why i've made the switch as like a big time bed bait if i'm not throwing a crawl like a cracking crawl which is obviously going to be a lot of people's favorite if i'm not throwing a crawl if i'm looking for a bigger bite or if i'm really trying to get these fish pissed off the trench hog has really been doing it for me because bigger it's more intimidating i think it just gets those bass really going who knows that whole side right there could just be bed central it makes more sense for there to be more beds over there because it's taller grass like people can't really walk up and fish right there like here you can walk up and fish there's like there's disturbances and fish are kind of probably migrating to that side wow that was two casts in a row guys holy moly badges uh Fudge. Yes, I love fishing with lizards. Well, there you have it, folks. So, apparently, the trench hog just murders the lizard. I'm just, I'm joking, guys. Obviously, I actually feel bad right now. One, because our good buddy Badge got skunked again on the channel. You guys are starting to notice this. Although, you didn't get skunked in Florida, though. Yeah, I mean, there's been fish catches. I just feel like, overall, you really need a good just a donkey in your life yeah i mean it, the thing is i'm your cameraman so i'm constantly wanting you to catch the fish like if we come up on yeah. a fish i'm like you catch it let me film it it's your channel i know but this th i don't want this video to come off guys as if we made the trench hog win because that's we literally they're the same freaking color they're on the same exact rig same size weight same hook same line i just i don't know what the deal was yeah. what do you think the deal was it, honestly i think at the beginning i was it was more like you were covering water i was fishing your sloppy second so yeah and then here i don't really know that's the thing i feel like we kind of branched off here and maybe there was times where you were out ahead of me or you were working an area like that i just completely left alone i was alone. making good cast and working it right man and you got bit a couple times dude so. the lizard was my thing growing up i was a zoomy kind of guy i think the lizard is a lot of people's thing still right now this time of year so hey if you're a lizard person be a lizard person but if you're a Guggenbaits person or if you're looking for something new to throw this spring that maybe the bass haven't seen that much of, that's what I like about the trench hog. So remember guys, you can find the trench hog and other stuff that I use in these videos at guggensquad.com. It's literally where everything that I use is at. You can use code LOJO on anything you buy there. You can save 10% on literally anything in the store. So, you know, like I said, I'm not here to convince you it's the better lure. I'm just here to show you something different, you know. I think that's what I like so much about it is it's different. So maybe the bass are just, you know, maybe they've seen a billion lizards and they've never seen anything like this. They're just like, what the freak? It's pretty crazy though, man. I was sticking them. They were, they were on me. Yeah, they were on that thing. I, at one point I wanted to take the lizard off and just throw it. Well, I almost said like, hey, let's just switch, but yeah. it was happening so fast. It was like almost, I don't know. Anyways, folks, I hope you enjoy this little comparison video. Remember, not a head to head versus just a comparison that's all it was meant to be you zoom people don't come after me okay we all love zoom zoom's cool okay but if you guys want to see more comparison videos like this i'd love to do them so give me your ideas in the comment section and smash the thumbs up button if you like these types of videos also make sure you're subscribing that way we can get to a million subscribers this year go check out badger's channel ao fishing see what he's up to these days anyways folks thank you for watching we are out of here